Hey, this is Eric from Miller Music, and when it comes to recording vocals, there are really three steps in the process. Um, I believe the first step is the performance, which is probably the most important or is the most important. The second step is the tuning of the vocals, and the third step is the mixing and adding effects. In the video today, we're going to talk about the second step, which is tuning, and we're going to be using Melodyne inside of Studio One. And This is going to be a little bit of a beginner's guide. I'm going to show you how I tune vocals inside of Studio One. Let's jump in. Okay, so the first way in which I would use Melodyne is to kind of let Melodyne auto-tune, so to speak, the entire vocal track in one take. And the way to do that is first you want to add Melodyne to a track. So you're going to click right-click the track, and then you click Edit with Melodyne or uh, Command-M. And then it analyzes the waveform, and then it comes up with this, uh, in which you see all of the vocals right here in individual notes, okay? Um, and I think that one thing that's really cool is you can see like on the left side of the screen over here all of the notes. Um, and this is a little bit where music theory helps because you can see like, okay, this is a C she's singing, this is a D, and you can tell like if it needs to be moved up or down if it's not on pitch. Like for example, this note right here is somewhere in between a B and a C. And by the way, you can you know scroll everything through here with a zoom key if you want to make things bigger, smaller, so you can see everything. So let's give it a quick listen. There's no tuning here at all. Okay. I couldn't help but feel a little bit special when you talk to me. Okay, so you hear that first, this, this note right here. Uh, it's supposed to be an F, but she's a little sharp. Okay, so the first way I would do is I would select everything, just do uh, Command A, and then you can go through and just hit this key, the correct pitch, and the pitch center, watch all the red notes now. I'm gonna drag it to the left, and you're gonna see them all move onto pitch. Kinda cool, right? And then the pitch drift, this is, um, you want to make sure that the, the note for the entire duration stays at pitch. So I can select and move that all the way to 100%. And then now let's listen back. I couldn't help but feel a little bit special when you talk to me. Now you can see that it automatically moved that uh, F note down to where it should be. Let's keep listening. I read too much into the spaces between the lines. To remind myself that I can't afford to cross that line. So not bad because she was relatively close to the pitch. This worked well, um, and you know this was a quick and uh, quick and easy way to to do this. The problem with this method is that sometimes uh, Melodyne guesses wrong, so that the the pitch can actually be like um, if you're off. Uh, like, like, for example, it might move it up to that. So let's listen to, you know, this. <laughs> so sometimes it, it guesses incorrectly. So you got to listen back through, let's move that back down and just see, you know, if it's, if it's all on pitch. So this would be something I would probably not use for the main vocal line. I'm going to show you next what I would do for the main vocal, but this is great for like a demo or if you want to use it on backing vocals when you have, you know, the, the backing tracks just uh, holding out long pitches um, and duration uh, because it's a lot less time consuming to do it this way. Okay, the second way that I will use Melodyne um, takes a little bit more time, but I believe it's a little bit more musical. Uh, what you do is you basically go through and listen to it and then manually um, edit each note as you see fit. So if we listen to this. I couldn't help but feel a little bit special when you talk to me. So that first phrase, all of these notes look pretty good. Um, she sang right in the center of the pitch. Um, and that one doesn't really bother me that much. But this one is still sharp. So what you're going to do is you hit the option key. You select it and hit the option, and you can just move it down that one pitch into into its proper place. Let's keep listening. I read too much into the space. 
I read to this note should really be a C, and she's kind of flat on that. So let's change this. It kind of sounds weird. If you do this in front of an artist, they always laugh or kind of freak out when you when they hear them voice. I read too much into the spaces between the lines. Forgot to remind myself that I can't afford to... Yeah. Ford. So that that note should probably be brought lower. So once again, I'll click on hit the option key and just bring it down a little bit so it's in pitch. So this way you kind of manually you go through and you just change only what's needed. And I think that this way kind of keeps more of the um, a natural vocal performance. Hey, if you want to go a little deeper, I have a free gift for you. It's a five-step guide to recording pro music from your home studio. You can get it by clicking the link in the description below. You'll also be added to my email list in which I send out weekly tips on uh, music production, recording, songwriting, and guitar. So you can get that by clicking the link in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.